Hi, my name is Figear, and I've never lost a competition, and also the world's most qualified chef, here to host Evan's Kitchen. Hello, my name is Chef Cameron. I have trained with the monks in the Himalayas. My plan is to win this show. Unfortunately, I just showed up because I thought this was the filming for Jurassic World 2. I guess I was wrong, so I'm gonna have to slip under Figieri's radar. Um, I hear he's never lost a cooking competition in his life, so he's probably just gonna send me to Flavor Town. I don't think I'm gonna win, but I'll try my best. Hi, um, uh, my name is um, uh, Chef, 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 Chef Josiah, and um, I don't know how to cook. Um, I tried it once. It, uh, he was at my grandparents' house. I burned their house down. Could try not to do that again. My name is Ryan. I am the most qualified person here. I've been a chef for 25 years, and I cook professionally for my mother. Hi, this is Evan's Kitchen, where four competitors will be competing to show off their best dish, and I will be judging. Let us begin. So Ethan, what are you making? I'm currently just uh, seasoning this nice cutting board. I, I hope it's not properly seasoned. You're not going to send the raptors after me, are you? No. no. Thank you, Chef. <coughs> As Figieri came up to me and looked over my shoulder, I could feel the whole side of my body kind of burning and screaming in anguish as he looked over me. I don't know what he is, but he's certainly not human. So, Cameron, what are you making? Um, I am uh, pouring soap on a cutting board in a smiley face. Divine. The thought of Figieri sends chills down my body. That's way worse than the Himalayas could ever. So, Josiah, what is your dish? Mmm. -hmm. Does. I have no idea. Just, just bleach go well with the black pepper. Go for it, Johnny. Between you and me, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know how to cook. He's mean, really mean, like really, really mean. This competition is actually like, it's really weak. Uh, but remember that millions today will never die. Ryan, what is your dish that you are making? This is actually a homemade dish from the forest where I live. And what I'm doing right now is I'm finagling all these spices from the forest where I live into this, into this pot right here. <laughs> Once I found a new spice in the forest and I ate it to test it out. And then a squirrel came up and told me how to cook acorns. And now I cook acorns like that all the time. It wasn't a drug. Uh, what, why do you have a baby? I found it at an orphanage. Get it out of here, kid! <sighs> well, someone needs a happy meal. Is everything okay here? Um, the, the, the chef guy, who's really, really mean, didn't like my baby, which I got from the orphanage. Um, uh, orf orphanage, I've heard it both ways. Um, he made me feel sad. I don't know what to do with the, the baby now. After the whole baby incident, I was starting to think that Mr. Chef was very much of a, pardon my language, fuddy-duddy. Honestly, I never thought that cooking could be as competitive as 
well, this. There's a lot of conflict, and even dinosaurs aren't this violent. I really hope that Phi Gary doesn't kick me out. I don't know why there was a child in the kitchen, but in such a competitive environment, there should be no room for such a disruption. The five minutes will begin now. So uh, around the five minute mark, I'm getting really worried. I've never cooked before. And like I said, I just wander onto the set. So I'm probably just gonna sneak into the storeroom and steal a can of beans and just try to pass that off as my own creation. With only five minutes left, I'm feeling very confident. My dish is almost perfect. And five minutes is enough time to make it even better than it already is. So at the five minute mark, I had just finished cleaning my cutting board. So I was pretty stressed. My plan from there was probably to just throw a few crackers and leaves together. Um, uh, when the mean chef s said that we had five minutes, I was cooking, but I hadn't done anything yet, and I was really, really scared. And I may or may not have fainted. Welcome to the grand reveal. Contestant number one, please step up. So uh, my dish contains uh, two all-American saltines, plus uh, some of nature's finest shrubbery, and uh, black pepper to the taste. Thank you, contestant number one. Contestant number two, please step up and describe your dish. My dish is, I completely created it all by myself. I've got a nice cup of salsa and some salty beans. Contestant number two. Contestant number three, please step up. Hi. Yes, sir. Um, I, um, I fainted at the, um, five minute mark and I saw some crackers and Kool-Aid in the fridge. So, yeah, there's also that black stuff that he put on his and yeah. Thank you, contestant number three. Okay. Contestant number four, please step up. My dish is an ice cream sundae, and what makes it better than the rest of the dishes is that it's all homegrown. All the cream comes from my cows in my forest, and all the sprinkles and all the chocolate sauce. It's all natural. Thank you, chef. Sounds divine. Thank you, contestants, for presenting your dish. I will now begin plate number one. Number two. <coughs> mm. After much deliberation, I've decided that the winner of Heaven's Kitchen will be... Chef Ryan. I had no doubt in my mind that I was going to win this competition. After all, I am the best chef here. I didn't really expect myself to win, but I don't think the head chef noticed that I used beans because he didn't jump over the table and try to claw my eyes out for faking my way through a highly pretentious food competition. Well, I think uh, the chef was right in choosing Ryan because, well, let's just say my uh, dish consisted of two saltine crackers and leaves. So I guess I will be going home in shame. Uh, the, this competition was, uh, pretty competitive. Ryan's, Ryan's dish was the hardest to choose because, uh, I, I like ice cream. Yes, um, Mr. Chef Ryan won, and, uh, um, he said something about flambe, and that's a fancy word. Um, he said that it involves fire, and uh, so I think he deserved to win because 
he knows a lot about working with fire and not burning things. And I'm not that good at that, so I guess um, good for him.